good morning to all of you <coughs> welcome to legal matters by sai bahu sankara <coughs> prashna ethics class in this video we are going to discuss whether giving illegal advice whether giving wrong advice amounts to misconduct or not the answer is sometimes yes and sometimes no the broad answer is giving <coughs> wrong advice may not be misconduct because opinions differ from person to person law is a dynamic law if you say one thing can be done here you can say that the thing should not be done andukane law lo oka chota kaadu ante inko chota avunu untundi adu telusukonu vaade manchi law hai while dealing with the case of central bureau of investigation hyderabad cbi hyderabad versus k narayan rao 2012 k narayan rao was the legal practitioner you can read the case in uh, <coughs> scc page number 512 volume number 9 right so the facts of the case are like this on 30 11 9 2005 cbi hyderabad branch they have registered an fir in rc number 32 by 2005 under sections 120b conspiracy 419 420 cheating by impersonation 467 468 471 4 jee per the purpose of documents read with 109 abatement ipc and section 13 of the prevention of corruption act so against the branch manager and assistant manager of vijaya bank narayan goda branch hyderabad so the branch managers colluded with the so called subscribers or the customers and they have given loans unnecessarily so so basing on that vijaya bank might have given a report and uh, an fir was registered against the concerned staff of uh, uh, vijaya bank now let us know what are the allegations the allegations are that they have defrauded the bank by sanctioning and disbursing house loans and caused a loss to a tune of 127 crores to the bank so before issuing a bank loan to the house construction the house or apartment thing they have check up they have to check up various formalities whether ec was there or not whether it is registered in his name or not whether there are any encumbrances or not whether it is a legal valid legally valid document or not whether it is located in the assigned waste land or not all these things they have to look up that's why they have attached the, they have got a panel of advocates who are called legal practitioners they will take their advice here the legal practitioner mr narayan rao <coughs> he, uh, he was also added as a6 in the particular case because he has given false <coughs> legal opinion in respect of 10 housing loans so this is the main problem whether he could give such the, so <coughs> such a wrong advice so please remember <coughs> the defense will be like this yes he has given his opinion basing on what basing on the documents available if the documents themselves are forged what is that he can do second point <coughs> the opinion of the legal advisor only corroborate you it is not conclusive proof so the bank staff should not depend totally on the opinion they have to look to the credentialities of the so called persons so up says they have colluded simply they have requested the legal opinion yes may be true or may not even the legal practitioner narayan rao might have colluded with them he have also taken some money we don't know the facts without knowing we should not cast allegations on him he is an advocate so the allegations are that while working as a legal practitioner he has given false legal opinion in respect of 10 housing loans therefore his name is added a6 right so therefore he has gone <coughs> to the high court for clashing under section 482 crpc right so the investigation or the inquiry disclosed that the construction permission from the municipality was not genuine the permission from the municipality it was obtained by fake so all the other records are correct so what is the legal what is that he can do he has to think whether ec is not there or not whether it is a legal valid document or not all these things are correct only permission from the municipality it's not correct true whatever it is so it's a, it's not genuine so please remember 
ASX as a lawyer, he is not capable of investigating whether this is a faulty document or this is a correct document. Basing on the available documents, he has given his opinion. Ultimately, case against him is crashed. Supreme Court held that unless and until there is sufficient evidence against a person, so the court cannot crash the FIR. If there is material evidence, so there should be need for strong suspicion. Therefore, the FIR against the advocate has been crashed. So here, please remember, giving false advice, giving illegal advice, giving wrong advice may be fatal to you. Of course, this is a specific case. That's why always you have been telling. <coughs> uh, what is this? Uh, every case depends on the facts and circumstances of the case. So please remember, don't give wrong advice. Sometimes this man Narendra may be lucky. Suppose if you willfully, voluntarily give any wrong advice, definitely it will be amounting to misconduct. Maybe a negative example, but please take it, be cautious while giving advice. Look to all the documents. Satisfy yourself. Then only, oh, please give your opinion. Thank you.